It was the mid-1700s, and William Byrd II decided his new city, called Richmond, was missing something. There wasn't a church in Richmond, and as the founder, if you will, of, of the city of Richmond, he felt it was important to have a church. That was in 1741. And of course, in 1775, then uh, the Second Virginia Convention was held here, and Patrick Henry's famous Liberty or Death speech, which uh, put St. John's on the map. The church was also part of a growing residential community for Richmond's moderate to well-to-do. By the early 1800s, it was an integrated neighborhood where whites, as well as slaves and free blacks, called home. And so began Church Hill. The whole neighborhood, I guess, is something of a museum of the 19th century because you start with the earlier houses that were built on, maybe one or two houses were built on a whole block, and they were usually federal architecture. Like Pam Michael's North 24th Street home. Then you get sort of to the middle of the period, you get the Greek Revival architecture where you get like Greek temples, smooth brick and um, front porches that look with pediments and that look. And then you get to the later part of the 19th century and you get more ornate architecture. Take a look inside. You couldn't build a home like this today. the heart pine floors throughout the house. But as the 1900s progressed, Churchill's reputation digressed. Churchill was definitely a slum. Um, even this, this part that's all restored now was a slum um, in the early 50s. And so began the rebirth of the city's second oldest neighborhood. Now it's 1999, and Churchill's almost back to where it began, a place where neighbors know each other and take pride in their newfound community. This is, with any luck, this is where we'll be the rest of our lives. A place where history will be preserved. So welcome to St. John's. We're just delighted that you all are here. For generations to come. From the Burnham? Yeah. Elementary. Uh, elementary school. We're delighted that you're here. Going home to Church Hill, Corinne Geller, News Channel 6.